For those who are wondering how long my hair is, there you have it. Me without a head wrap. Bam. All right. <laughs> On today's video, we're going to be talking about detachment, the beautiful art of still nurturing your desire, still giving your desire love and doing your sats and imagining and putting all the tones of reality on your desire, but still detaching from the outcome, the paradox of a conscious manifestation. And so today we just really need to talk about this because once and for all, I would like for those of us who are looking to manifest beautiful things to really get this under our belt when it comes to the art of being detached and still manifesting our desires. So detachment is defined as the state of being objective or aloof. And for the sake of using the term detachment when it comes to conscious manifesting, really what we're talking about is detaching yourself from needing to know how it's going to happen or obsessing over the little details of every little thing that encompasses your desire or your final outcome, the wish fulfilled. So the balance of detachment really comes with how much do I care about what's going on in my 3D reality versus really just obsessing consistently over and over and over. We don't want to become obsessed in any capacity and I highly suggest that you limit your content with obsession being the main focus because when we're obsessed with things, we are out of alignment with the natural flow of how conscious creation, how conscious living when it comes to your mind works. Anything that you're doing this with and you're obsessed about and that you're agonizing over, you are literally immunating a energy of desperation implying to your subconscious mind that you don't have it and this is something that I've been studying for years so you can take what I'm saying to you with a grain of salt if you want to but I have actually dedicated my life to studying the mind and understanding that it's okay to react to your 3d reality but how are you reacting because if we are living in a state where we understand, we understand that things are happening, that movement is happening, then why are we worried about how it's going to happen? We know things are already happening. So the balance of detaching and ignoring your 3D circumstances really has to do with, you don't have to ignore everything, but just find a way to react to it in a way that is in alignment with the identity of a person who knows that they have the power to call anything they desire to have in their life, right? So case in point, if you guys want me to help you understand this, those of you who love to shop online for your outfits, it could be Amazon, it could be Pretty Little Thing, it could be Fashion Nova, but let's just say like you're putting together this fly outfit with the colors, you know exactly um, how it's gonna look on you, you go online, and you make the order. So you place your order, you got this outfit, you're so excited about it. And then when it comes to paying for it, it'll give you an estimate of when your package is going to come. So if you're on Amazon, it'll give you maybe like within two days if you pay for the Prime, or if you don't pay for the Prime, you'll probably get it within a week. So most people know for a fact that if they order something online, there's an expectation that it's going to come to you, right? In between the time of ordering it and it happening for you, what are you doing in the middle? Are you looking outside of the window all day, every day? Are you like, oh my goodness, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Did you not just get the email saying that this is the estimated time that it's going to be here? Did you not say in your mind, I know that this outfit is going to come to me by a certain time? So you have the expectation. Your only job in the middle of between ordering that and having it come to you is to be happy, to be joyous, to imagine all the combinations that you're gonna put with your bangles, imagine how your hair is gonna be. Basically, you're doing what Neville Goddard talks about, which is using all the tones of reality to create your 
desire in your imagination, knowing that the more you do it, the more you engage with it in your natural state of being, it is an inevitable fact that it must show up in your reality. So when it comes to detaching, when you place that Amazon order or you place that order on Fashion Nova for your outfit, you're not obsessing about when it's going to come because you know for a fact that you have put something into motion. And so you can go about your life detaching from the outcome, but still having a healthy engagement with the said thing that you're manifesting, which would be your outfit. This is how you're going to detach and also still care enough, the balance with everything in your life. So if it were SP and there's someone that you're particularly interested in, you're not going to obsess over whether they're going to call you or whether they love you, whether they like you, whether they want to marry you. You're not going to obsess over any of that stuff. What you're going to do is you're going to set the intention. You're going to put it out there. You're going to place your order to the universe. You're going to place your order out. And then once you know that you placed your order, it's only a matter of time before your order has to come to you because in the middle between placing your order, which is the relationship that you love, all the yummy things that you want to experience in that relationship, in between, your job is to go about your day, be loving and kind to yourself, put love all around you because we know that the end result of your order to the universe for your beautiful relationship with your SP is going to be the end result of what you truly love and desire to have because you've already done the things that a person who has that relationship would be doing. Those of us who are in healthy relationships, I'm a married woman. I don't obsess about my husband texting me. I don't obsess about whether he wants to be with me because I set the intention that I would love to be married, put that out into the universe. Then in between, went about my merry little way, imagining myself in a wedding or imagining me embracing this beautiful man imagining a ring on my finger, and then boom, the end result, the universe delivered me my order in commitment, love, respect, and marriage. I could go on with the, with the examples, but most people really want to know about these SPs and these romantic partners, and I totally get it. You guys want to have love. We all deserve to be in loving, committed relationships, but I will tell you this, that I never, ever got anything in my life, even when I assumed that it was mine, it never happened for me until I balanced giving enough attention to it in my imagination without obsessing over the outcome of it. Please hear me from my heart. I know you want your things. I know your 3D reality is triggering you. So we want to Create the habit of every time something shows up in your reality that you don't like, you need to say to yourself something. For me, when a negative thought comes up in my mind, I say to myself, nope. Just the word nope. Nope. I don't even say anything else. Just nope. No. Nope. And then the thought passes by. Try this out for yourself. I know it's, it seems like it's just like one simple word to say, but this one simple word has changed the way I respond and react to my 3D reality because your thoughts are not you. You are not your thoughts. Literally thoughts are happening 70,000 thoughts a day. You're not your thoughts. Your thoughts are literally passing through based on years and years and years of subconscious programming. Your only job is to relax into the state of it is mine i already have it i am open to receiving and i know that i have placed my order to the universe i know that i've placed my energetic order out into the ethers and it's only a matter of time before i see it harden into a fact the law of assumption is very very good at helping people to understand that what you focus on consistently with conviction consistently with conviction has to harden into a fact. And you only have to do this once through state of cancer sleep, which is SATs, or even if you listen to your subliminals 
setting the intention is still playing in the background. So it's really up to you how you decide to saturate your mind. I like to say this to myself and I want you to repeat this to yourself. You can type it down in the comment section. I expect good things to happen to me always. I expect good things to happen to me. Or you can say, I expect great things to happen for me always. I expect great things to happen for me always. Please know that there is no separation from you and your desire. So when we say the word detach in the manifestation community, what we mean is stop obsessing about the little details. Stop obsessing about the middle, you know, messing with the middle. Detach from the need to know how it's going to happen while continuing to think about your desire in a way that is loving, kind, and confident in knowing what the law says. That's the only thing you need to do. So let's practice the art of neutralness. Let's practice the art of being aloof, allowing, cool as a cucumber energy. And like that, things start to shift. You start to see more synchronicities, which are only just things that help you to understand that energetically you are in alignment. When you see synchronicities of any sort, you assign the meaning to those synchronicities, right? But those synchronicities are also energetically letting you know that something is happening in the 4D. So whether you see the sign or not, it's still happening. But when you do start to see those signs, just know you are well on your way to opening your eyes and boom, manifestation is here. I love you so much. Please like, share, comment. Hello. I love to read your comments. I love to answer them. If you would like to know anything I do when it comes to coaching, group programs, or seven day mental diet resets, which we're doing is coming up June 1st. That's where we collectively come together in the group membership. And for seven days, you have one-on-one -on -one access to me through uh, private DMs, through workshops, live sessions. And we're focusing on self-concept and manifesting beautiful relationships across the board. So if you, if you want to manifest more connection with your loved ones, with your specific person, which is your romantic you know, partners, if you want to have better connections with your animals or co-workers, then this seven-day mental diet reset is going to be perfect for you. It's through a 30-day membership, which is about $20 at the moment. That price will go up very soon because it's just so much value in the membership that um, I think it's time for me to scale my business because I just, it's so much in there now. It's well worth over $20. <laughs> All right. Love you. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I really do appreciate you guys. Bye.